Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Hollow Man and this movie came out in 2000 and I thought it was fine. I didn't hate it, I didn't uh, find anything offensively bad about it. It's kind of like Moneyball in ways where it's entertaining throughout and there's some interesting ideas and there's there's some shots that are interesting and memorable to me and the effects uh, are for the time really good. But that's about it. There, there just wasn't anything that uh, grabbed me when it came to the characters, the writing, the story. Those three elements, it was really lacking for me and it just offered nothing. And I really wish that I was connected to something in this movie. And there are certain ideas that I liked. Like, for instance, uh, Kevin Bacon, he gets... Uh, invisible and uh, he's struggling with the fact that he's invisible now and uh, and one of the flaws with being invisible is that you can see through your eyelids and he can't sleep and uh, that's a major flaw about being invisible and that was an interesting idea but it didn't go anywhere really and uh, eventually he just uh, wants to get out uh, of this like lab and uh, he because he feels like a prisoner and uh, he wants to move around outside, in the outside world, and just go out there for a few hours, otherwise he's just gonna go insane, as they say in the movie, and... Uh, one of my biggest problems with this movie is that uh, Kevin Bacon becomes invisible, and... Uh, and what he's trying to do is uh, make uh, people, or animals, or whatever, go invisible, then make them visible again. And uh, he comes up with... with uh, a formula that is able to make you visible again and uh, that happens at the beginning of the movie and that's pretty much like what everyone's trying to do is figure out how to make you visible again and they try it out on an ape and it works but then they try it on a Kevin Bacon himself and when he turns invisible he has like uh, some side effects and uh, his body is like on fire and he experiences a lot of pain and then he becomes invisible and throughout the rest of the movie everyone is just trying to figure out how to make him visible again and the weird thing about that is that he doesn't ever help out really he just uh, watches every doctor in this movie work and fail and just judges them for not being able to do better and the entire time I'm just thinking like why aren't you helping it's like you're the one who figured a lot of this out why are you doing nothing why are you just waiting around and also another thing that uh, held this movie back for me was that uh, there are certain things that just do not make any sense and uh, our main character or I guess the hollow man it's like his motivation is confusing I can't uh, tell whether or not I'm supposed to feel bad for him or feel angry that uh, he's uh, doing bad things is he supposed to be a sympathetic character because I don't sympathize with him and that goes with everyone in this movie I don't sympathize with anyone in this movie and uh, since that's the case I just couldn't get invested in this movie emotionally and uh, while I was entertained throughout it just didn't offer me anything and uh, there was no scene in this movie that uh, stood out to me as memorable. Like, I'm just going to forget about this movie in about a couple of weeks. And I would have liked to have watched a movie that impacted me more. I wish that uh, the characters uh, were better. And while there's a couple of good performances, there's really just nothing here. And uh, I would never watch this movie again. It's a little stretched out. Uh, once we get to the second half of the movie, that's when things start to become really repetitive and it also becomes very predictable and uh, there's no surprises and it plays out exactly how you think it is and that's the whole movie. And I would not recommend that you check this movie out even though I don't dislike it, even though I don't hate it. And it is a watchable movie. It's just nothing special and... I would like to watch movies that are either special or just good. At the very least, this movie wasn't incompetent, but I want better. 
That's all I'm trying to say here. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Hollow Man a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Hollow Man and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for The Last Temptation of Christ. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.